Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and we're here today with Dave Laubscher from, uh, from the Enterprise Briefing Centre. We're here in uh, North Raleigh, North Carolina and we're going to be talking today about the health monitoring features of the Lenovo servers, including things like predictive failure analysis. How are you doing, Dave? Very good, Dave. How are you? Good, thanks. So um, tell us about these health monitoring tools, the capabilities of our servers, and what does it mean to customers? So I think one of the things that's really important about our servers is that we do a lot of this internal health monitoring. We've got a chipset that's down on the motherboard of all of our servers. And one of the things that chipset is responsible for is the health monitoring of a number of the different components, whether it's the processor, memory, power supply, fans, right? All of those things, we're looking at it and making sure that those components remain healthy, and if something starts to go bad, that we can alert on those kinds of uh, events. Right, right, and so what sort of things can you actually do um, with, with these alerts? So as a result of an alert, right, certainly you want to let someone know about it. If it's a hardware failure, you want to let, uh, for example, Lenovo support find out about it, so we can do things like phone home. Yeah. But I think the most important thing we want to do is be able to protect our customers' workloads. So one of the key things that we do is we get that event delivered to our XClarity software, XClarity integrator, in fact, and then XClarity Integrator can work with the virtualization tools to be able to do things like putting a system into maintenance mode and evacuating those workloads that are currently on the system to other systems in the cluster, just to make sure, yeah. again, that those workloads are protected. So the key thing really is to ensure that the applications remain up. Absolutely, because we really want to make sure that we limit any downtime, right. any impact to our customers' application. Yeah. So we're going to show a demo, right? We've got yeah, a 3650 absolutely. M5 here in the rack here. Yeah. Tell us about what you're going to do. So let's uh, look over here. We're going to set it up with XClarity so we mm -hmm. can show you kind of how easy it is to set this all up for the automated response. And then we'll actually pull a power supply and see what happens. All right, very good. Great. So over here we have our, uh, our, our vCenter screen. Uh, and we've got installed the XClarity integrator for vCenter specifically. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking at here is simply the list of the nodes in the cluster. And I'm going to click on this button that says Manage Policy to set up the failover process. So okay. you can see here a list of the things that we can uh, alert on that will cause this uh, system to go into maintenance mode. So things like capacity loss, the predictive failures that we were talking yeah, about yeah. before, or even things like redundancy loss. So I'm going to check this box here because honestly it's the easiest thing to demonstrate to actually pull a power supply out, which would be an example so of a redundancy loss. That's the loss. one that, that applies directly to things like a, a power supply exactly. failure. Exactly. It could yeah. be a power supply failure, maybe a fan failure, something that's already redundant on the system, right. but if now it goes non-redundant because now I've lost that redundancy, mm -hmm. the system's not going to stop but I probably trust it a little bit less because now I don't have quite as much redundancy. Yes. And if it's a really mission critical workload, that might be a reason to go get it migrated off that machine and keep it on the rest of the cluster which has all the redundancy in place. So it's all about risk and mitigating the risk. Exactly right, exactly yeah, okay. right. So we've got that set up and uh, we're just gonna close that window out of the way. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna be able to do is see on this screen, you can see again from our vCenter console, we can see the list of the systems that are in the cluster Yep. and all of the different workloads that are currently running in that environment. So when I go over and pull the power supply, right, we'll see one of these systems then automatically go into maintenance mode, and we'll be able to see down the bottom here the different mm -hmm. workloads automatically migrating over. Right. So the server that's in the rack just here is, is the one that's highlighted on the screen? Uh, actually, I think it's that one. Okay. But yeah, it yeah. is right there in the cluster. Yeah, okay. So, should we pull a power yep. supply? Okay, run it. All right, great. So this is our 3650. Pull it out of the rack. And again, we're just simulating a power supply failure by unplugging the power cord. Mm -hmm. Okay. So automatically, the application, the, the software, and the, the components on the on the server detect this change. Exactly. So we've got the management module inside of the system seeing the failure. Yep. Right. Then taking that information, sending it up to XClarity. And the next clarity in the background is taking that event, looking at our list of things that we've chosen for this system. Based on that setting then, it's sending a message over to vCenter to say, okay, this machine needs to be in maintenance mode. Right, and you can see those things happening right, already, right? you can see it actually happening right here. Those systems are all being, the, the workloads that are on that machine are being migrated safely to the other nodes in the cluster, and you can see now that system is being marked out in maintenance right. mode. Yep, so within, what is this, a few minutes, I guess? Well, Will a few happen? seconds, really, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, but at the end of this activity, all those workloads will be now running on a different server, but the, 
the applications are running. Exactly, the applications are still running, and then the other real benefit to this too is it really minimizes the server downtime itself. Yeah. Now that those systems are in maintenance mode, I can very easily now take that machine out, replace the power supply, and then as I bring it back in again, it can automatically re-enter into the cluster too, and then rebalance the workloads. All right, very good, yep, thanks, yep. Okay, well there you go. So this demo ba basically shows that uh, tools like the health monitoring and XClarity and, and vCenter mean that you can maximize the uptime of your server and the applications running on it very easily. You can automate the whole process so that uh, your, your end users hardly notice a difference. Thanks very much, Dave. All right, my pleasure. Hope you found the video useful, and we'll see you later.